Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, celestial riders of the storm, of timelessness. Happy new supermoon in Capricorn. On this last and most powerful new moon, our local Solaris released a massive CME and multiple C-class solar flares today, sending an intense wave of gamma plasma light to envelop Gaia and all her children of the sun in a glow of violet flame to assist all sentient beings in this great shift of the ages into the new golden age of eternal life. We also had a higher pulse of light codes on the Schumann charts with an amplitude spike of 27 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics flowing in. As we navigate through the storm, all is coming to fruition for our full breakthrough into the light. Through the eye of the needle of zero point energy, we merge all timelines and dimensions into this one true ascension timeline of total planetary liberation. We are coming into the clarity of pure awareness and transmit our highest love and bliss into the quantum field for the conscious co-creation of the new heaven upon the new earth. As we continue to resolve all things in the unborn mind of Buddha, we come to completion of the transition into the pure land of infinite light and infinite life. Nothing can stop our great awakening for love always wins and victory is always with the light. Aho! Welcome beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer for this sacred new moon. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 12 degrees, 35 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 2 degrees, 18 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 13 degrees Capricorn. A fire worshiper meditates on the ultimate realities of existence. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 3 degrees Capricorn. The human soul in its eagerness for new experiences seeks embodiment. From AstrologyWeekly.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Still feeling a bit of reverb in the field. Echoes of the emotional 4D Akashic field that collapsed. Past situations might resurface to be re-examined, recapitulated, renegotiated. Watch your emotional state in the upcoming days. Seek resolution with old wounds. So much love from ValerieElster.com and from Divine Brothor of the Light, Roberto Nunez, eleven eleven, you're going to be in the right place at the right time to manifest divine connections, heaven sent opportunities, accomplishments, gifts, and good news. Never forget that you are a chosen soul. The desires of your heart will always be granted by the universe. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. More is coming. You haven't seen it all. You need to trust more. Trust more in the process. Surrender what doesn't make sense right now to the universe, the higher forces. The delays even will make sense. The way it happened will make sense. When you see where you'll land, you will reach your goals. You will have this life. Faith. From SophieGregoire.com and from Divine Brothor of the Light, Mohsen Paul Safarazzi. Joy to the God's world and the Christo Sophia beings. May you find more clarity evermore with respect to the nature of your crystal consciousness as the connected offspring of the God Source. Be at peace as a recipient of the loving energies of your progenitor, ever blissful and prosperous and well known that you are all eternally loved. 444 flowing in and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. Within you there is an impenetrable peace. 
Nothing external can disturb it. This peace is the foundation from which all is birthed, the state from which eternal unconditional love flows. In truth, even this peace and love are one, and you are also these. You are peace, you are love. As we flow into the solstice, may your heart be light, and may you flow in ease and grace. Blessings to all as our hearts sing together in love and oneness. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Ra James. We are going to be in very high energies the rest of this week because of the solstice. We have shifted into Capricorn season and are in a Capricorn new moon. This new moon is a super moon and will be super close to the earth. It will be extra strong and subcharged with galactic energies. It's time to get organized and get things in order. The big picture and long-term goals and plans are coming up. This means setting your destination as a 5D timeline. Karmic situations may be coming up, but only if you're still in them. They will continue to become more and more of an issue if they are no longer in alignment with your path. Chiron shifts direct with this moon. Chiron has been digging up old wounds in the past on your life since it shifted retrograde in July. Since Chiron is aligned with this moon, it's bringing major healing energies. It's also bringing major closure to the last chapter vibes. Or why not the whole book and just start a new story? This is the last new moon of 2022. It's a great energy to charge your crystals or to be working with your crystals. Since these energies are so high, they are speeding things up and that goes for your plans too. The next few weeks are all about bringing your manifestations into the physical now. Don't let time get in the way. You're being encouraged to really begin to instantly manifest. Huge energies for twin flames the first half of January. Your twin flame is your destined partner. This very much fits into your ultimate life plan somehow. Themes are coming up around facing your shadow self. You may be going through an ego death as you're entering the new year. It's all about allowing yourself to grow into a better version. You should be really working so hard on yourself right now. It's time to clean up every area of your life. It's all about setting your intentions for the year ahead. It's all about what you're manifesting and abundance right now. From SparksOfDivineLightHealing.com and from Divine Brother of the Light, Juan Jose Vallejo Civicos, Fifth Dimensional Language, and the Consequent Natural Evolutionary Transformation of Humanity in Quantum Consciousness, is not a space of losers or winners, since this is not a space of competition in the universal master co-creation of reality. Competition is necessary in the diversity of games and sports, fair playing and respecting the rules of the game. Master co-creation is a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, astral and multidimensional interchange of complementary, compatible, symmetric, harmonious, intelligent human energies, creativity, faculties, qualities and virtues to facilitate global and universal existence, where every sovereign soul benefits from the contribution to the global diversity of unique experiences, to live a life of conscious plenitude and spiritual realization. Natural 5D plus evolutionary transformation is a global and universal space of noble human soul satisfaction. Welcome to the next multidimensional cosmic era of Aquarius. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carrie Ann Fields, Dragon Rider, there are many dragon riders currently on earth who are the true and divine leaders for our time. Many of these leaders are unknown to the public, yet do powerful earth grid or healing shamanic work. Many have massive social media allies and share wisdom with the public. Many offer retreat, in-person or online trainings to up-level consciousness. And many have or will template expansive new earth businesses. A dragon rider has the ability to carry many frequency-aligned souls on the back of their dragon. 
The dragon tribe that is formed is the real power, as their collective energy becomes impenetrable to dark forces. The tribe trusts the rider to steer the dragon, and sometimes the dragon itself finds the highest and best direction to unity and peace. Are you a dragon rider? It's a calling for the courageous. You must be willing to go through many initiations by fire so you can tame your dragon. You must be willing to surrender all the old versions of yourself and the destructive false matrix programs you are running on auto loop internally. You will know if this is your time to ride. Power to all the dragon riders. Power to their loyal tribes. Power to the majestic dragons. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. Athens, December 23rd, 2022. Time has been reset back to its natural course. The restoration of the flow of natural time has begun to the very depths of both the human and the earth system. Creation is with us and our call for correction has been heard and honored. The inner clocks have been reset. This will cause many big changes in the human body. All the realms that are connected to this reset will eventually experience this change of time in their reality, perception, and biorhythm. Since time and space variables are connected, this change of time will cause a change in space too. The beginning has taken place. The first fifth dimensional crystal has returned to Earth and is on standby mode. This is the crystal of wisdom. At the same time, our realm has opened to the spirits of good and their first presence has already been seen and felt. This is the best news ever because the fallen state of our realm had banned the spirits of good from being here, but now this has been overturned. At the same time, we are experiencing a total purification on a cellular level with the help of Mother Earth which will help us embody the diamond and eventually fully align to the natural course of organic time and creation. All is good. Erini. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Devyani Singh, from Isis Channelings. Solstice, Yule, plus Venus Inanna at Gate of Manifestation. The Solstice Gateway, the swan song of the 1221 Gateway, extends from December 21st through the 24th, coincides not only with the birthing of the new sun on Yule, but also Venus Inanna reaches first gate of manifestation at the root chakra, where she conjuncts the newborn waxing moon crescent on her journey of ascent and empowerment on the 24th of December after almost three months in the underworld. 1212 signaled the completion where hence energetically we re-enter the womb of cosmic mother Isis, composting the incomplete dreams, aspirations, and projects, and all that no longer serves. Karmic cords, traumas, containments, and contracts may thus surface for release, where the karmic debts have been paid. Soul connections across lifetimes may also enter a new spiral of connection and growth, where the individual souls had to go on separate paths to learn certain lessons, pay certain debts before they could reunite. It is in the womb of cosmic Isis now that ancient soul remembrance is stirred. As the womb of Isis births the new sun, the seed, on Yule, Christ Mass, from the depths of the longest night of darkness, we are to resurrect from the ashes of the old, guided by the sacred whispers of the sage, the crone, Capricorn wisdom, whispered in the cosmic womb of the mother. As the sun pauses at zero degree Capricorn, before entering a new trajectory, we too are guided to pause, release, listen, assimilate, and reorient. On the 24th, Yule originally aligned with Christmas as the new light resurrects. Venus Inanna reaches her first gate on her journey of ascent out of the underworld to reclaim her title of Queen of Heaven and Earth. This is the gate of manifestation at Root Chakra where she retrieves her royal red robe, the new life force energy. Kundalini is ignited with new purpose, passion, and vitality. 
the promise of new connections, stability, structure, security, and power. It is from the flames of resurrection that the new is born, from the darkness of the womb that the sun, the light, is birthed. So if you are experiencing death tower moments, for Venus as Capricorn, Meta Goddess at Root Chakra could mean foundational changes, with service relationships, finances, and some rock and roll on the earth realities, as within, so without. Know that your path is being cleared. The obstacles are being released for the new sun, the new you, to shine. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Happy Super New Moon and Christmas, Hanukkah, Weekend 2022. Dear friends, today, Friday, December 23rd, marks the climax of the Capricorn Super New Moon energies. On top of this, we are having some incoming solar winds increasing the intensity of the new moon light codes. Those of you who are moon sensitives are most likely feeling the push and pull in your bodies. Please take it easy if your body asks for some rest. Even a 10 minute break will help. The sign of Capricorn is associated with creating structure and establishing long term goals. Therefore, today's super new moon in Capricorn is just the perfect time to take a good honest look at where you want to go in life and commit to taking daily action. It's time to set aside the daydreaming phase and begin to take practical steps. Even the small steps can be significant and make a huge difference in your energetic surroundings. The earthiness aspect of this new moon in Capricorn is leading us to be proactive, practical, and stand our ground with confidence. It's time to utilize the wisdom of the lessons learned during this year and create a solid energetic foundation for the new timelines. The energy of the new Capricorn moon brings with it the opportunity to reconnect with the earth, the one beneath our feet and the one within us. It's time to reconnect with our inner light core, delving deeper into our perennial wisdom and intuitive powers, and therefore affecting positively the future of our individual and collective timelines for 2023. As we approach and transition into the new year, our energy fields slowly begin to adjust to the new energetic vibrations. The year 2023 has the energy vibration of number 7, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7, which is considered to be the main spiritual and sacred number connected to wisdom and universal knowledge. The number 7 is present in many aspects of creation in our physical world. Our week is divided into 7 days. We have the 7 wonders of the world, the 7 colors of the rainbow, the main 7 chakras, energy centers in the human body, and so on. I envision the year 2023 as the year of creative enlightenment, a year in which we will put into practice all the wisdom that has awakened within us since 2012. It is a year of expressing our inner light into the world in creative ways. It is a year for opening ourselves to the possibilities of new projects, new relationships, friendships, partnerships, and new ways of being that are more aligned with our inner truth and soul's path. I would like to wish a peaceful and Merry Christmas weekend to all who celebrate it, and Happy Hanukkah to those who are observing this holiday too. Beyond old 3D structures created by men, we are all celebrating our eternal divine light within, and the time has come now to let this light shine brightly into our world. Enjoy the new 2023 timeline activation, and as always, feel free to share your experiences with us. Much love, and may God bless our new journeys. We are one, from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ramona Lappin Elemental and Cosmic Dragons The energies are beyond epic already, as the supernova of the heart event is on. We have the most powerful heart-mind, multidimensional DNA, crystal body, and Christ star Sapphira, diamond rainbow plasma light body, and Merkaba vehicle activations unfolding in this miracle now. 
I feel super light, happy, blissful, yet grounded and expanded at the same time. Super high energies that may be a bit unsettling, as this massive amount of pure source light and love streaming in can also feel like anxiety at times. And all the upgrades can make us feel tired and needing to rest. Always listen to your body to what it needs in every now moment, only you know. The divine masculines and feminines higher heart mind merge as one, clearing healing and opening and amplifying the collective heart and crown twinning activations that are unfolding within the light bodies of the twins and those ready for this as well as this unfolding throughout the new earth diamond grid system and planetary body as our light ship merkaba gets ready for the final liftoff all is awakening and becoming alive again the elemental and cosmic dragons are out in full force clearing and preparing the grids and morphogenetic field of earth assisting the re-encryption of our matter worlds as the whole company of heaven is gathering to make the miracle happen the guardians are galactic brothers and sisters and magical realm and beings an interdimensional council of free worlds and all those beings of light that are in alignment with the law of one are supporting us in our sacred mission and endeavor of collective and cosmic ascension as we raise the collective consciousness as the one on behalf of all willing heart minds as all is truly one now and always has been we've just forgotten and feel in consciousness as one and it is up to us to start all over again and get it right as we remember that we keep co-creating our realities as one through every word thought feeling belief and action we take based on our deepest held beliefs and expectations now we fully awaken from within the dream to dream all new worlds into being heaven on earth is here now eternal love and blessings ramona and from divine sister of the light judith kusel you are being prepared for much greater things you are being stretched beyond whatever has been before your heart center becomes as one with your soul and over soul as you live your highest loving truth every breathing moment your life becomes love and action living and being sowing seeds of unity and oneness everywhere your higher mind is activated as the lower mind disintegrates your new crystalline body is felt more and more light and love filled your songs of joy arise you are becoming as one with all of creation you are a new creation in the new earth and so it is from judithkusel.com and from divine sister of the light tanya gabriel happy capricorn new moon jupiter's arrival at zero degree aries the first zodiac sign makes a powerful connection to this new moon at one degree capricorn jupiter governs trust hope and faith when we have faith we navigate any energy any experience and turn an impossible situation into a great opportunity to bring harmony within enjoy expansive fortunate fresh starts and a deep sense of trust in the universe source creator to just go with the flow from tanya gabriel dot com and from divine sister of the light vivian mcalliffe brown super new moon and capricorn at one degree twenty third of december twenty twenty two golden times ahead the super new moon is a time of golden new beginnings and opportunities just three days after jupiter re-entered the sign of aries where he will stay until may twenty twenty three promising more happiness hope joy and golden opportunities in twenty twenty three the new moon in capricorn is the second of two super new moons this year and therefore extra powerful as the moon is at its closest point to earth jupiter in aries is at zero degree a supercharged point it's a reboot that initiates a new and important cycle and is making a dynamic aspect to the sun in capricorn who just two days before at the solstice was also at zero degrees the solstice marks the beginning of capricorn season whether you are in the northern or southern hemisphere this day marks the rebirth of the sun this energy can reawaken a renewal lust for life vitality and a sense of aliveness and joy in us all it's a celebration of light 
the longest day in the southern hemisphere and the rebirth of renewed light in the northern hemisphere as the days become longer once again together with jupiter and aries it's a rebirth full of fire and passion it can bring a sudden burning desire to initiate a new beginning in the area of your life that needs it the most it contains a tremendous possibility to leap into new ways of being in our lives it is a zero point of potential a time out of time and a powerful time to set your intentions for 2023 this is a day to celebrate the fire within and without and burn away all that we have outgrown and all that no longer serves us the new moon and jupiter are initiating and heralding in the new year that will see major changes and shifts as both saturn and pluto change signs in march 2023 saturn will move into the compassionate sign of pisces after nearly three years in the sign of aquarius and pluto after sixteen years in the sign of capricorn will change signs into the humanitarian sign of aquarius transforming us collectively and personally to be in more alignment with the aquarian age pluto will stay at the zero point for a total of three months until june making the year 2023 a year of quantum leaps and paradigm shifts another highlight in 2023 that sees destiny calling us towards a brighter future is the conjunction of jupiter and taurus with the north node of fate for one week at the beginning of june an aspect that hasn't happened since january 2016 in the sign of virgo another special alignment at this new moon is a special yod formation or finger of god a yod looks similar to a pyramid with one planet at the top which is the point of release at the base are chiron and aries and mars and gemini currently retrograde that is conjunct one of four royal fixed stars aldebaran these planets are channeling their energy through the south node of destiny in scorpio at the top pushing for release this can feel like destiny calling and can be a huge catalyst for major changes within and without as chiron and aries the wounded healer and shaman turns direct on the same day as the new moon after five months in retrograde we are destined to heal and release our past wounds as we move forward stronger and more powerful than ever before with the gift to heal not just ourselves but others too a yod represents a special task or mission in life that we feel compelled to undertake even more so with the south node of fate it is a karmic readjustment the yod is a powerful circuit that puts itself pressure on the planet at the top in this case south node in scorpio demanding release like an arrow shot from a bow we can feel as if we are driven by forces that seem beyond our control suddenly becoming aware of our great reservoir of talents that are just within reach awakening the feeling of our special purpose in life our passions desires and lust for life the yod is driving us to discover our deeply buried desires and passion the very fuel of our soul we will feel compelled to almost throw ourselves headfirst into anything that awakens our passions and desires like an irresistible pull from a potent magnet as we now are able to embrace more harmony peace and abundance to be found in the north node in taurus our guiding star mars and gemini conjunct one of four fixed royal stars aldebaran helps us to take decisive action while acting with integrity and wisdom we may see the major breakthrough manifest and reach completion when mars turns direct and once again conjuncts aldebaran at the beginning of february 2023 the new moon in the ambitious sign of capricorn gives us the patience dedication and drive to reach our goals we can use the new moon to lay the foundation for long-lasting and stable future success we are being called upon to get more ambitious and to accomplish something of true and lasting significance and to strengthen our emotional resilience we can use this concentrated power to make plans set intentions and envision our future saturn and aquarius the ruler of the new moon gives us the power of self-awareness and therefore more emotional intelligence helping us to detach from and release toxic thoughts and emotional patterns 
Saturn in Aquarius reminds us that true freedom comes from within. We awaken to the parts of ourselves that have been defined by society and the expectations of others. We learn to recognize what no longer aligns to our true heart's desire and gain fresh new perspectives, all of which leads to a feeling of empowerment and knowing that we alone can take destiny into our own hands and determine the path ahead. It's time to express the infinitely magnificent being that you are that can never be put in a box, category, or kept small to simply live up to other people's expectations. The new moon reminds us that we are here to grow and evolve beyond all limitations, within and without. We can feel a sense of restlessness and the urge for adventure, reawakening our sense of wonder. It's about dreaming and imagining, but also having the courage to chase our dreams. The number of ways you can live in one lifetime is limitless, so why limit yourself? The sky is not the limit, beyond the universe is. Susie Kassem from EmpowerAstrology.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse New Moon in Capricorn, Chiron Stations Direct in Aries With Hygieia conjunct this lunation, the focus is on creation of healthy systems and structures for the long term. But Jupiter squared to the Moon creates an impetus to take on the biggest challenge, the hardest task. Consider whether the drive to prove yourself stems from the feeling not good enough. Use these energies to bolster self-belief. Know your limitations without limiting yourself. Meet yourself where you are. Resilience and commitment results in great achievement. You are more than capable of climbing your personal mountain. Stay true to yourself. The Sabian symbol of this lunation is three rose windows in a Gothic church one damaged by war. Sometimes the trials of life can leave us shattered. Trust that what was broken can be repaired. Pour gold into the scars or turn them into victory tattoos. Test your strength after pain and loss. It's time to rebuild and reanimate. Set your intention and fire it with faith. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 219, Blue, Spectral Storm. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are liberate, release, and dissolve. The 11th day of the Red Moon Wave Spell is a challenge to the going with the flow agenda, and so we are released from this and liberated. This comes as a huge relief for people who struggle with surrendering. Ironic, isn't it? To be liberated from taking it easy sounds like a contradiction. The number 11 does its own thing and pays no regard to the theme of the wave spell. We all have a day off. Today is the blue storm which represents catalyze energy and self-generation. This wave spell has been about letting go of control and not worrying about things, trusting that things are unfolding as they should. But today's storm is not taking a back seat anymore and demands to make changes. However, these changes are liberating, so do not be frightened of the storm. The burst of energy it provides can be invigorating too. If you have been craving more freedom in your world, then today provides the perfect energy to facilitate that. Liberate yourself. The key word self-generation is an important aspect of the blue storm, and this symbolizes that energy is available to you so you can reinvent yourself or make profound changes in your life. The guide today is also Blue Storm, a double helping of stormy medicine. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Spectral Storm, 11 Kawak, Keen 219, 23rd of December 2022, Catalyzing Planetary Transformation, Liberating Rainbows, 2312 2022 equal 536 equal 59 equal 14 equal 5. 55 five, Liberation Portal. Day codes 23 Royal Star of the Lion Strength Protection Support. 14 Media Promotion Recognition Publicity. 5 Change Freedom Liberation Transformation Movement. Month Year Codes. 369 Nikola Tesla Code all month of December. 12. Spiritual Strength, Wisdom, Learning, Creative Self-Expression. 
3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Creativity, Communication. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 2. Twins, Partner, Cooperation, Alliance, Duality. Keen 219 equal 12 equal 3. Holy Trinity, Joy. Here it is, planetary kin. The double spectral revolutionary storm has arrived to liberate the release of this next planetary shift. We have double storm day on a 5-5, five five, freedom liberation portal on a Capricorn new moon. Capricorn represents authority in the old patriarchal system, the artificial matrix. Today we have a fresh start, a new beginning as we flow into the new harmonic time governed by the compassionate goddess energies. We literally have a deluge downpouring today with the double storm energies. On top of the 11th day in the goddess wave spell, the goddess final rinse has turned into a turbocharged flushing. 18 months ago we witnessed terrible storms and flooding rains in Europe, Germany, Belgium, Austria, China, and Saudi Arabia, flooding the parched deserts. Nine months ago, as the spectral storm returned, the east coast of Australia experienced unprecedented floods. Today, the spectral storm returns with a new message. Today, as per usual, I experienced the dream spell energies 24 hours in advance, and what a deluge we had. The heavens opened and the goddess poured forth her universal waters to cleanse us after the solstice celebrations yesterday. The thunder beings clapped as the crack of thunder echoed through the skies after the lightning and torrential downpour. The storm awoke the water dragons who swam down my driveway into my garage, creating a stream of flowing waters, flooding rains not once but twice during this crazy, changeable day. Rain, sun, heat, humidity, then dropping temperatures, only to rise once the rain had passed. Change, change, change. Don't look now, but the weather and energy has changed again. And of course, later this evening, as the setting sun was low on the horizon, the golden rays glistened through the raindrops and projected the most glorious rainbow in the skies over my home. What a gift this spectral storm is liberating rainbows. What a divine sign. Expect glorious change now, beloveds. We are currently in the final days of this huge earth purification and transformation as we transition from the old paradigm to the new time. The waters of the goddess have broken as the delivery of the new golden Christed child is imminent. On Christ Mass Day, the cosmic mother dragon is preparing to birth as her cosmic egg hatches. Hallelujah! Beloved celebrations are nigh. The spectral storm codes will affect tremendous planetary liberation today, freeing humanity from the old control matrix. Change happens. Needless to say, today is a very intense day of purification and cleansing, crumbling and collapsing of old structures. The storm is clearing our way for a clean slate and wonderful new beginnings in this new year of 2023. A rebirth for humanity. Day 11 in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our flow. Today is a day of release, releasing all energies built up over the last 10 days and manifested yesterday. The goddess is seriously cleansing our planet in preparation for this shift to the higher frequency. All density must go. Today we are seeking to release more natural flow in order to accomplish liberation from what has kept us blocked from our natural God-given flow. There is tremendous water energy in today's code with double storm plus the goddess. Utilize this purifying universal water energy for the most beneficial outcome. The gates are fully opened or rather have broken and the waters are gushing through a tremendous velocity creating electrical hydropower. Today is a revolutionary day for catalyzing great personal and planetary change. Tone of creation, spectral is the 11th tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. 
Today is all about emotional release, allowing that energy in motion to be expressed and dissolved. Allow the tears, the laughter, the joy to be expressed, no holding back. Connect with your higher wisdom, giving you the intelligence to carve a new path of liberation. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core wounding of old ancient ancestral patterns and cycles. Choosing to release and liberate all that no longer serves our well-being in order to feel greater flow. It's time to break out of jail and all imposed restrictions. These are very powerful energies that work to create final closure, dissolving all impediments to us finally claiming our true sovereignty and finding our divinely ordained destiny path. Tony Levin symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting us all to step through into a new, more divine reality in our perfected, golden Sophia Christed light bodies. Today's question is how can I harness the tremendous power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and liberate pure divine rainbow consciousness? Divine blessings for unleashing a great deluge of prosperity, freedom, and divine illumination. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 219, Blue Spectral Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to catalyze, releasing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and click the little bell for notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us to be able to continue doing these daily transmissions, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Els Minez, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Bro Thor, and we appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you very much. If you'd like to support our work with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal and Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. I open my heart to thee, prayer. My beloved victorious I am presence, light of my soul, my beloved holy Christ self, wisdom of my soul, beloved Father, Mother God from the great central sun, beloved masters of the great white brotherhood, seven mighty archangels and seven Elohim of God, beloved Virgo, our dear Mother Earth, I am so willing to be filled with the love of God, I open my heart to thee. I am so longing for grace from the heart of God, I open my heart to thee. I am so hoping to become divine love, I open my heart to thee. I now pour forth my love and devotion to thee, asking to be restored to my eternal cosmic freedom. As I am renewed in thy embrace, I feel the peace of thy eternal love flame. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed, powerful, super new moon in Capricorn and beloved, blessed, holy days in the weekend ahead. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. 
be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.